Hello and welcome to another Division video. Yes, I have to hide a little bit because in this video I will answer the question if the shield build is any good or not and demonstrate it with this guy here. Chains. I think it's one of the hardest ones. Uh, bosses in the light zone? I would say hardest and yeah, hard is it relative, but he deals a lot of damage usually. And as you see here, <laughs> I think to answer the question right away, if the shield build is any good, I would say yes. And I'll show you the build as soon as I take this guy down. I'll just give him the chance to be, deal a little bit more damage to me. And you see, I don't pop a medkit yet. And he deals a lot of damage and that was face tanking pretty much, I would say. So, but as you see, and if I pop a med kit, whoop, and almost all the health is back here. Yeah, so I answered it already. So from my side of view, I think shield build T3 is really viable still and really worth using, especially if you have uh, a little bit of troubles probably in the new area. Yeah, they are spawning quite often and you get, uh, uh, what shall I say, what's the right word? They rush you pretty hard sometimes from all sides and this can be hard on this build. I think it's really nice to use then as well. So, but to show you the build I'm using here, let's go right into it exactly here. So I don't need this one. As you see as an overview, that's the build that I'm using now as it looks like. And yeah, probably some of you may be wondering what just 4000 electronics, 160 skill power, and the shield was pretty strong. The main reason for this is that the shield health relies no longer on the skill power, so it doesn't matter a at all how much skill power you have. It matters how much stamina you have. And as you see here on the four piece bonus, allows using an SMG that's clear. I think it, all of you know this already. And mod is active here you are ballistic shield health is increased by 57 percent for every, every 3000 stamina so which means i do have now 6000 and my shield health to see this right at the beginning is 1 million and 66 thousand so quite a lot i would say and one thing you should not forget compared to the previous one if you remember the set bonuses right from 1.7 then you had on the two piece bonus protection from elite was the same but three piece was not ballistic shield damage resilience it was damage to elites if you remember right and yeah this changed as well so and i definitely i thought not by myself how strong this is and it's really strong in my opinion ballistic shield damage resilience so the first try i did i explained you after the mods i'm using i was trying out something different but for me definitely this is one of the best setups and it works really fine and probably a good setup too for farming in the next global event as well with the explosions explosions because probably you heard it already but the the thing i mentioned before the damage resistance is not only to your shield it's also to you so if you get staggered or whatever by grenades then you should get less damage if you have the shield equipped that's why this set could work pretty well in the last, last next global event so but let's get right into it into the chest piece as you see i use a ninja bike and a barretts with three piece and i get the four piece bonus from the d3 and the reason why i explain you later Barrett's chest, as you see here, with the health, then skill haste and health ammo capacity. The two mods I'm using is skill haste and electronics. All of my mods are the same. And the mask, as you see here, skill power damage to elites and firearms. And again, a skill haste mod and electronics. Then the knee pads is on skill power, then f uh, stamina. Burn resistance, damage to elites, and the rest I don't care. And burn resistance is nice to have, of course. Shock, but fle uh, bleed would be pretty nice. But yeah, this is what I get. And anyway, in the next global event, the D3 set will get the classified version. So I don't care that much about it. 
So and here I use skill haste as well in electronics as I mentioned before and I'm using here ballistic shield damage mods. Yes, earlier as I started to try out this build and I was trying out it in the gameplay as you see at the end in underground and in resistance I tried out the ballistic shield damage resilience mods and to be fair and honest I really feel a little bit too tanky but I because I think that uh, the downside about this build, if you spec that much into the stamina, you don't do that much damage with your weapon. And that was the reason why I decided to, to go with damage mods and not damage resilience. And it works pretty fa fine, I have to say. So this is the main reason. And the chest piece, uh, chest piece, the holster, skill haste and pretty high stats for now. So I'm pretty happy with this. And to increase the damage furthermore, I decided to use Savage Gloves with increased out of cover damage, uh, out of cover, the crit chance of course, with SMG damage and crit hit damage with skill haste. Of course, you could run these gloves as well with a instead of skill haste with crit chance or enemy armor damage for pve it would work as well but yeah this is the one i got with smg damage on my stash mm -hmm. and the ninja bike backpack is on s uh, firearms with health and ammo capacity and a skill haste mod here as well if you have the chance you could reroll health for if you would increase the damage for the more to crit hit damage or for skill power if you will increase this the healing a little bit more yeah i know the the meta is going to stamina and away from skill power but honestly my opinion especially if you use this mainly solo and mainly for pve it's not worth losing that much of skill power you still rely on your heals and on your skills so that's why i think you should have to find a mix between stamina and electronics and that's why I don't go all out stamina which would mean 9000 and then I would have much less electronics or firearms I think it's not worse so I think this is for me really a balanced D3 set and I will use this for next week's global event as well the weapon I'm using here yeah you see it right I got already a house pretty happy with it it's not maxed out but anyway for PvE it works pretty well pvp the talents could be better of course and of course instead of brutal i would like to have responsive deadly whatever but this is what i got and the the, the talent below uh yeah was crap that's why i rewrote this one as a secondary i used the uh, big alejandro i still like this weapon really much although there are probably better options but yeah the damage increase you get it's pretty nice because if you shoot out of cover as here the third piece talent it's uh, increased damage up to 50 percent that's really nice and because of the high fire rate you get it pretty often and yeah pv you're more in cover and of course if your shield gets destroyed you're mainly in cover so you can and you can and the best thing about the lmgs is that you can suppress the the npcs much more so that's the reason why i use as a secondary an lmg of course if you don't have these two guns you can use an mg5 uh, m five what the fuck <laughs> i forgot the name uh, navy mp5 of course and instead of the big alejandro and mg5 would be viable options too here so as you see here you can use this as well and yeah to get heal back i have to be galley equipped with predatory and this one works pretty fine i have to say i really like it because the, the damage is really high already so i go for another talent or i looked for another talent to increase the health a little bit more I think health in this patch could be uh, yeah, the most discussed topic because when you are low on health and you have high stamina and you do have much less kill power then how you get your health back you have just one option except such things like this this is the medkit and you don't want to waste that many medkits in my opinion so this is the reason why I use these weapons here if we switch back to the house then let's quickly check the character sheet as you see here the damage is not that high but not that bad i would say for uh, just about 5000 firearms crit chance not that high too crit damage is not my main focus headshot is of course because i've brutal on it as well optimal range yeah i think this is not that important too reload time is pretty fast i would say for a smg then this is really important for pv damage to elites and of course enemy armor damage is really nice to have and the reduced threat too 
skills, as you see, I would say pretty nice skill power, skill haste maxed out for this without the uh, tactician build. So I do rely further on electronics from my point of view. I think it's still worth using. Then toughness pretty high, max health pretty high, 320. I think it could work pretty well. Health region, I, I think this is not that interesting for you to have a look. So let's go ahead to the abilities I'm using with this build. And this is the shield I'm using, of course, it doesn't matter which one, you always get the same one, the basic one with the four piece bonus. And you see here, I have a damage increase 26%. That's really nice. So let's check it out quickly. Equip it and see it weapon. 80.2, okay, it's not increased now. I would have to go to the shooting range to demonstrate it to you. But yeah, it's quite a lot, I would say. And this is with the mods, of course, I'm using there as well. And damage resistance, this is the really nice thing. That's why I think this could be really nice in the next global event. Uh, damage resistance 20% and cooldown pretty low, as you see, 16%. That was just a proc from Barretts that came here as well to 10 percent that's why it went down and as a healing resource i use this one yeah the support station and why not of course you would have the option two for a self heal uh, it's a viable option as well you can have this one for a uh, higher damage too and you can increase your health a little bit a little bit you can change the mods of course to first aid self heal then you can get 16 percent more which would be about 92,000, uh, a third of your health. So it would be just about, if you check it out, uh, the health I have, it is, come on, come on, 319. So it's not even a third of your health you get back, not even all one bar, not that much. And for damage increase, I mean in PvE, PvP of course could be a viable option, but PvE, mm, I wouldn't. And I did underground missions and that was another op reason as well, because in underground you have, if you have all directives active, the cooldown is so incredibly high for healing skills. Uh, that's why I just like to put one skill down and then get a heal over time. And you see 4,000, 5,000, it's not that bad. And don't forget, you have, uh, if you pop it up, explode, then you get the the increased heal and this is pretty high as you see here it's almost a health bar so the health is almost the same if you blow it up as with a first aid booster shot so that's the main reason why i went for this and another one is just have a look if i equip this one but i think most of you know this already and if i have the shield equipped and with the shield i usually aim and would like to pop the booster it doesn't work so you have to go out and you have to pop it and then it works and if you compare it with this one so let's aim and then I can blow it up and I can still aim so this works still that's another all the reason why I do use the box and not the first aid on this build and then last but not least to the talents talents on this build I'm using is uh, crit safe just for more survivability I think important especially if you're a solo player then combat medic it's one of the most important ones if we not only if you play in a group because if you pop a med kit then you can heal your shield as well then strike back if you're low health that you get your heals back faster and your shield and precision yeah precision it's another option to increase the damage you have a pulse if you had hit the head and the, i think with the shield equipped especially in pvp this is often the case and that's quite a lot if you will have more survivability just go for on the move because with the shield i think you're all the time on the move anyway so this would make sense doesn't it yeah this is the shield build i'm running right now and just to show you another thing uh, i did some resistance solo too and with this build <laughs> just to tell you electronics is too low so we, you will not survive the contaminated sections with this build and what did I do? I changed my build, as you see here. Uh, where is it? Just save this quickly. Sorry for the interruption. And this is the build I'm using for resistance. As you see here, higher skill power, still 6000k stamina. 
and a little bit less firearms and I use a different house here so I don't use the other one I use one with predatory on it as well so to really increase the healing resources all over the board and yeah if you're interested to see this as well as a secret just a quick overview I think it's too boring to show this in detail as well I use the four piece bonus of d3 and the three piece bonus of final measure and final measure yeah to get exotic damage to resilience and protection from elites and in a higher level above 10 11 in resistance you just meet elites or mainly so this works pretty nice there and yeah you have a lot of uh, grenades you have flame whatever and this protects you pretty well and i could imagine if this auto build would be too squishy let's say it this way for the next global event mm -hmm. This one could work pretty well, so I would switch to this one here. And you see toughness, it's a little bit lower because I have uh, a little bit more skill power here on this one. But it works pretty well and I think I went up to level 18, something like this. Solo in resistance with this build, so it works pretty well there. Yeah, and at the end, as I promised at the beginning, you will see a little gameplay from an underground mission with this build, the previous one I showed you, just to demonstrate, I think personally D3 is still pretty viable to use, and of course especially in PvE. In PvP I can't say that much, because I'm mainly a PvE player, and not a PvP, so just test it out. But it could work there as well. Probably I would go just for 3000 stamina and decrease the firearms probably because you still have about 700k mm -hmm. health on your shield so i think it sh could be enough but you can test it out but for the moment thanks a lot for watching enjoy the uh, following gameplay and leave a comment down below don't forget it subscribe if you haven't done already and i really really appreciate your likes on the video so thanks a lot for this see you in the next one bye bye With that intel you brought in, we've been able to pinpoint the location of one of Joe Farrell's lieutenants. Taking him out now could prevent a whole lot more pain later. Alert. Hostiles detected.
hostiles detected nearby. Styles detected nearby. Detected. The visibility reduced. that high value target. It's gonna make the streets safer for everyone.
are now entering a safe area. Thank you. 